Bitcoin. There's a great deal of talk recently about demystifying science, but one of the top leading uh, peers of this issue, which is Dr. Joe Dispenza, who is definitely a bright person who's doing very well. And I definitely hold very much of his research because it is science-based. However, demystify the mystic does mean that in a sense, we might not need religion. And that is definitely not the case. And what I'd like to speak about is merging science with the mystical, emerging science with religion. Why do we need religion? Why do we need the mystical? Because first of all, we see the facts. We see that many, many things in history and in our own private lives cannot just be answered by science, definitely not. And we see many miracles happening to many people in dire straits at the end of the relationship, at the end of the health issues, at the end of the uh, balance sheet and not having sufficient funds, and the turn to God, and the turn to prayer, and the turn to all kind of miracles which really did happen without using any science and quantum physics, which I'm definitely an advocate of because this definitely is true. So where are we going? Why are we going? We're going to understand that in that it's very interesting to understand that yes, definitely truth in science, but science can only answer the how. Science cannot answer the why or the where did it all come from. And that religion has great answers for, and that is Kabbalah. So what we need to do is to merge together Kabbalah, together with science, together with uh, quantum physics, so we understand together the transformation, what happens in our day and age, and understand that we are merging science together with the mystical, where the rider is the mystical, the Kabbalah, and the horse that is carrying the, the, the rider or the wagon is the science, because it only answers the how. For example, all this pep talk about uh, genes, neurons, it's all very true, but we have to understand that this is all a follow-up. First comes our incentive, first comes our own initiative, first comes our intent. If I'm a worried person or an angry person or stressed out or in fear or anxious, well, therefore we'll follow all my genes or all my neurons and therefore we'll follow everything else. If I'm a follower, if I gave in to my environment, everything will follow, but don't get it wrong. Don't understand that science is the mother of all and it answers all and this is a new religion. It never was never religion, can never be religion. It can never swap the mystical or the religious because it only comes to answer the how after I have in my own psyche and being mind, body, spirit and soul, the right intention, the right attention and all of that. So what we need to address is first of all to understand that yes, a personality creates a personal reality, and not a person, personal reality creates an, our personality. Yes, we do have to understand that we have genes and neurons and many other things and um, epigenetics, but these are all the result of who we are and how we use this inner casket called the body, which holds our psyche in our very travel in this world. So yes, we are spiritual beings having a physical experience, but that spiritual being is the one with the incentive of giving everything through and the physics follows. The physics will always just follow the how, the physics will never determine the what and the why, the incentive, the intentions, all this is up to us. And we do understand that mind of a matter is the winning recipe. So, Therefore, we have to merge both together. Very much if I want to get from point A to point B, I will use the best car that I have in my use, the one that I have, or the airplane, or the boat, or the ship, or whatever other means I have, or the horse. But I can never go to point A to point B without any intention and without my own incentive or my own inner wishes to get there. Because if I don't have those, I don't care where I'm going to get. So a car will not drive on its own. A body will not deliver anything on its own unless I decide where I want to take it with my emotional world, my mental world, my spiritual world, and therefore my actions 
that will be derived after my spiritual, mental, and emotional. So we're going to definitely carry on with that, but this is definitely a breakthrough in understanding, and that will be a shift from the great science, which is wonderful. And I'm a scientist, and I've been uh, a student and a PhD in astrophysics. I've got my own degrees in uh, business uh, law, as well as in I'm an aerospace engineer and many others, but the, and a researcher for many years. But nevertheless, even though I respect very much science, but I know to say this is the maiden girl that is saving the master, madam, which is religion and the mystic and Kabbalah. God bless you all, and we will speak to each other very soon. Please DM me if you want to respond to any of this.